Painting the Demon Prince continues. Time for another Next New Year Painting Challenge update. Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Right, today I'm gonna to show you some more progress that I've made on painting the Demon Princess. Before that though, if you would like to keep up to date with the wonders of Warhammer 40K, then please give me a sub and hit the bell button so you don't miss an upload. Okay, so time to show you how I've been getting on painting the princess. I have made some progress. I've now completely highlighted the black areas on the princess and I'm looking forward to showing you them. I'm really happy with the choice of highlighting with purple rather than gray. So I hope you like them too. Now I would like to also do a shout out right now for you to a fantastic channel who's also entered Nick's New Year Painting Challenge. In actual fact, he hasn't just entered it, he's completed his project and he's done some amazing work. He's painted a huge amount of Space Wolves and they look absolutely awesome. The channel is The Miniatures Paint Brush. I'm gonna link you up to his channel there. I'll link you up to his challenge complete video. I know you're really gonna like his channel. He's a great guy, he's a fun guy, his videos are awesome and he's a fantastic painter. So definitely check his channel out. Right, okay, so now it's time to go table down and have a look at the work that I've been doing on the princess. Okay, so here she is, and I'm really happy how she's looking. So I highlighted the black with purple in the end. Originally, I was gonna use gray, but I think purple was the right decision, and I'm really happy with it. I used, first of all, Zirius purple, and then I went in and highlighted with Jean Steeler purple. As it comes around the back, which is where most of the black areas are, you can see the highlights there coming in. I tried to get the purple to be quite subtle on the black, just to make the highlights of the black work without making them pop too much. I don't want a bright contrast. I want to keep her quite menacing as possible. Now you probably noticed I haven't painted the tabard and there is a reason for that, which I'll come to in a minute once I've shown you the wings. So let's go and have a look at the wings. Okay, so here are the wings, and I'm really, really happy how these have come out. I have to admit, it took me a bit of experimenting to work out how I was going to do it, um, but I did find a way to do it. So basically what I did is I started off with my black colour, and then I added a bit of the Zurius purple, and then I painted that on like a layer, leaving black right at the top. Then I added a bit more purple, did another layer, added a bit more purple, did another layer. Nice thin coats, uh, almost like a, a thick glaze or a fat glaze. And then, right at the end, obviously, I was painting with just the Zirius purple. And then finally, I just dry brushed the very ends with the Gene Steeler purple just to finish it off with a final highlight. And I am really, really liking them. Uh, let me know what you think about the wings, but before you make that comment, let's have a look at the wings next to the actual princess herself. Okay, so there she is, and if I put the wing next to her, I'm not gonna put it into position, so I don't want to scratch the paint. But I think you can get quite a good idea of how she is gonna look. Quite purple, pink, and black. And my concern is, if I paint the tabard as I was originally going to, i.e. purple at the bottom up to black, literally, just like the wing, I'm thinking maybe it's gonna to be too same same. So I had a little idea, you may recall that I was gonna put green into the model somehow. Well, how about I paint this green, this cloak? Not a bright green, quite a dark green. Possibly even going from black to green, just like the wings. What do you think of that? Or do you think if I put the wing thing into here, i.e. purple at the bottom going up into black, do you think that would work well or do you think it would be too same same? Let me know in the comments box below. In the meantime, let's have a look at all the other work that I've been doing. Okay, so here are all the magnetized bits. So as you can see, I've done the hair with the same purple color, and I'm really liking how it's looking. I like the way the black is looking now. Uh, of course, I've edged highlighted all of the sharp areas, and I've just layered in some of the other areas. Now coming round are the claws, which I'm really liking how they're looking. I think they look dark and menacing, but they also look like they could hurt you quite a bit. 
Got his hand coming round here with the chaos pattern on. Again, I just edge highlighted that. And the same with all of the other claws and hands, etc. Okay, so we're going to have a look at the entirety of what I've painted now and then have a chat about what is left to be done. Okay, so here is everything in one place. In actual fact, there isn't a lot more for me to do. So I still have to finish the base. I've got to highlight the tentacles and the blue. Of course, paint the tabard. I've got to highlight all of the silver that's only been washed so far. And then on the right hand side, I've got the whip to do, the sword and the axe. And then lastly, just a fine detail on the two heads. That's basically the teeth and the eyes and the tongues. And that is all I've got left to do. It's so not actually a lot more. However, I still don't have a colour scheme for A, the tabard, and B, the weapons. So now you've seen her almost painted. I'd love to find out what you think I should do for the weapons and the tabard. What colours should I go for? Bearing in mind that I do want to try and get a little bit of green on the model. At the moment, I'm thinking maybe a green tabard but I don't know about that. My original vision was black for the tabard, so I'm not sure whether I should stick to that, maybe put green on the weapons. I could paint the weapons silver and do a green wash, which would be the opposite to the wash that I've got on the other silver, which is currently purple. So I'd love to have some feedback on the final stages of the princess. Beam me up.